everyone, Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Happy Tuesday! Uh, today we're going to do another card with Love of uh, 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 Love of Leaves. I hope you're not tired with that one of that one yet, because I'm sure not. Um, in fact, it's been uh, a little bit cool here, which has been lovely. So there's definitely a hint of fall in the air, which makes me want to play even more with Love of Leaves. So uh, we're also gonna be using the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper again. I absolutely adore that paper. Um, so I'm looking forward to sharing some fun things with you. Hey, we've got some people tuning in. Kathy's here, Carol's here. Awesome, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera. You're gonna see my ceiling just for a moment and we'll get started. My ceiling. And another Kathy tuning in, fantastic. Let's see if I can get my stand in. Oh, look at my big mess. Wait, don't look at my big mess over there. Just, I just shoved everything over so, <laughs> so that I could have room to demo. Anyone else relate to that? Busy creating, no time for cleaning. Hi, Jean from North Dakota. And Jan's here too, awesome. Hey, Kathy Monroe, Verla's here. Yay, thanks for tuning in, everyone. So we're going to play with this fantastic bundle yet once again. If you've purchased this one already, um, I hope you're having as much fun with it as I am because it's just like, there's just unending possibilities, especially for fall, but also some other fun um, times of year that you could uh, feature it. So um, I also love the greeting. So I didn't even put this on the block yet. So let's grab this. One of my favorite greetings in this set is the um, I thought of you today. I just think that's just a sentiment that, you know, for cards on hand, that's something that will work for so many things, right? And so appreciated. So we're just going to pop that onto the block. As you can see, this is a photopolymer stamp set. And let's grab a scrap paper here. And I'll get the cushion because it is the photopolymer. So we've got our stamp ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and just do our stamping first. And then we can do our die cutting. Now, I like to do my punching before I stamp, especially with the photopolymer. Some people are the opposite of that. It really doesn't matter. It's, you know, what it's really personal preference. I'm going to use the banners pick a punch again. This is the one that has the, the fishtail punch. And then the uh, opposite of that. What do you call that? I don't know. It's a pointy one. <laughs> it's almost like an arrow, isn't it? Um, and each channel cuts three different sizes. So it's six punches in one, which I love. The I'm, I'm using this punch all the time. Anybody else with me on this one? It's just like my, it's my new go-to. I love, I love a little banner on my projects. So there is our little fishtail. Um, now this particular card, we're actually going to be cutting this down to size. So I left this piece, it's three-fourths wide, and I left it at three inches long, even though that's longer than I needed, um, so that I could trim it to fit. Um, if I cut it too short, it's hard for me to get it in the punch, so I'd rather keep it long so that it's easy to handle and then cut it down afterwards. So I'm gonna grab my Mint Macaron pad here, ink pad because that is the color that we're using today. So let's just ink that up. I'm a dog barking outside my door. I'm not opening it. Actually, I don't think the dog is barking to get in here. I think there must be a cat situation. Sorry if you can hear that. So there I've got my sentiment stamped in the mint macaron. So I'm gonna close that up. And I'm just going to take my paper snips and I'm just going to, like I said, just trimming it down a little bit. So that's uh, the size. So depending on, you know, how big your words are, you can just cut it to fit. So, hey, Kathy. We have lots of Kathys tonight. It's a Kathy party. That's awesome. <laughs> we have some other people, too. So um, I'm going to set this aside and let's go ahead and do our die cutting, shall we? So we're going to bring in this uh, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Today was a very happy day because this little beauty became available for anyone to purchase. Um, it's been available only for demonstrators this past month. And now it's, yeah, it is a pretty font, isn't it, Jean? And now anyone can purchase it. So what I like about this is it folds up just like this. 
kind of like a little suitcase so it's very easy to to carry around the house or to, to travel with You're going up to the cabin and you want to do some die cutting um, and then it comes with this um, uh, platform and then it comes with the attachment the um, the die piece and then it also comes with the two plates. So there's one other plate that comes with it, which is gray, and that one is specifically for um, embossing uh, 3D folders. So those are the pieces that come with it. Now there is another item, actually I think I'll put this one down first because that one's got more cuts in it. Um, there is another item that became available today and that is the, um, the new magnetic cutting plate. So a little different from what we've had in the past with the Sizzix products. With the Sizzix products, the platform was magnetic and it had little circle magnets placed around. And the drawback with that was with small dies, they would tend to hop to the magnet and they would slide around. The new magnetic um, cutting plate that goes with this machine takes the place of one of these cutting plates. So if I had that, I don't have mine, I express ordered it, it'll be here tomorrow. Um, but if I had that, I would put that down first, then my paper, then my dies, and then the top plate on. So it takes the place of a cutting pad but don't worry, it's got, it's uh, it's the whole piece is, is magnet, so your dies aren't gonna hop, but the covering on it is then self-healing so that um, it's not gonna damage it. So I can hardly wait. I will be so happy to show it to you next week when I get it. So we're gonna grab some cardstock here. This is um, from the, let's see if I have it handy. So this is the, the brushed metallic cardstock, which is in, the um, mini catalog. So it comes with 12 by 12 sheets of these three colors. And so I'm using the gold color for this. And let's see here, let's grab our dies. I want this little heart shaped leaf. I love this and it does actually make a super cute heart if you just cut the stem off. And I've been cutting mine a lot, so I've actually just um, scotch taped the uh, inside uh, part in there because I haven't yet haven't yet used it without that. So um, I just uh, keep it that way. Um, once I get my magnetic cutting plate, I won't need that tape, right? The thing will do it for me. So. All right, so we've got these laid on here on my scraps of this pretty brushed gold. Put my top plate on there and let's send that through. And I'll show you one of my favorite things. So these dies are called the stitched leave dies. Hi, Sherry Gibson. Thanks for joining us. And the stitched leave dies, oh, that pop one popped right out. Let's see if you can see that. There, I think that's on camera. So that one just popped right out. Of course, the advantage is that it stitches around so that you can save this part for another project. And this one I could cut into a little square and use it for another project like I did on this card with uh, copper. So I've got my two little leaves there and I'll keep those stitch frames for something else. And I'll pop these back onto the magnet storage thing here. And we'll put that away. Okay, I think we can say goodbye to our pretty um, stamp and cut embossing machine. By the way, um, so this became available to purchase today. And just keep in mind, if you've been thinking about uh, becoming a demonstrator, whether joining as a hobbyist to get the discount, or if you want to do... Um, you know, sell stamps to the friends and family. Um, you can purchase this as part of the starter kit and save quite a bit of money. Right now there's a grab and go deal going on for uh, new demonstrators. So if you join, you get to pick $120 in product and you pay $99 for it. This machine is 120. So you could put this in your starter kit and add a $5 item and you would only pay $99. Um, no shipping cost, just tax. And then you'd also get, there's a bonus this month called Grab and Go, 
And so in addition to that, you would get these two stamp sets, the Queen Anne's Lace and the So Much Love. And you'd also get a pack of rhinestone jewels and um, uh, eight pre-cut cards of one design, eight pre-cut pieces for cards in another design, and then some ideas of what to make with those. So let's go back to our card here. We're going to use the easy button tonight, and we're going to use these super pretty uh, gold cards and envelopes. Now these are from the mini catalog. You may not have noticed them. I didn't really, they didn't really catch my eye when I first was going through that, um, but they are gorgeous. So you can see it's vanilla with that pretty gold edge. So it comes just like this. It's cut, it's scored. It's got that pretty edge detail. It comes with this gorgeous, look at that brushed gold envelope. Oh, yummy. So elegant, isn't it? Um, so it's super easy. Now we're going to not make a holiday card. We're going to make a fall card tonight and so we're gonna go to one of my favorite papers right now from the mini catalog and that is the gorgeous gilded autumn you can see those pretty metallic highlights in there and then the other side um, is a little bit plainer and doesn't have the metallic so we are going to use this pattern which is the mint macaron in the gold and it almost reminds me of like rain or something, um, but I'm thinking more like wind, fall wind. That's what I'm going with. So I'm going to layer this on a piece of mint macaron. So my card, uh, the pre-cut cards are um, standard size. So when they're folded, they're four and a quarter by five and a half, as you might expect. And then let's talk about our layer pieces here. So the mint macaron, it's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths because I wanted just a little bit to show. My designer series paper is three and a half by four and three quarters. So let's see if I can scare up some adhesive here. I, ooh, ooh, I do. I reloaded my stamp and seal. I thought I used it all up. In fact, I think I'm out of my refills. I think I should have ordered that today when I ordered another emboss machine and my magnetic platform, but I completely forgot. I was so excited. All right, so I'm gonna layer this on here. So that gives me just that little bit elegance edge of the mint macaron behind, which will show up even more when I put it on my piece here. But before I attach that, I do wanna add some ribbon. So this ribbon is also part of that uh, suite of products that has that gilded autumn paper. And you get two rolls um, in there, so grab both of them. You get this gorgeous copper, which uh, metallic ribbon, which probably looks familiar to you because I've been using that one a ton too. And then this pretty mint macaron, which is a basket weave um, pattern. And that's the one we're going to use for this card. So I'm actually just going to tie a knot in my ribbon. And I want the knot, I don't want the knot in the center, I want it over to one side of the card, just like that. Kind of giving the card a headband, I guess you could call it. And then I'm going to just take my um, Seal Plus here and I'm gonna put a little bit down. I might actually use some uh, just plain old Scotch tape to uh, hold this ribbon down to because it's very it's pretty thick ribbon and fabric doesn't adhere as well as some other things I mean that's sticking pretty good but I just want a little insurance so I'm going to just grab good old scotch tape made right here in Minnesota by 3M there we go just tacking that down oh we have a whoops <laughs> got my hair in there Jeez. <laughs> hey, at least I haven't cut myself like last week, right? <laughs> All right, so now I feel like I can put this on the card. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop that up. I really love dimensionals. Um, you could certainly leave it flat. Totally up to you. But I want a little extra depth here. If you're worried about the ribbon making it too thick, you could certainly leave it flat. I think it would look just fine. <laughs> Got that hair in there. Oh my gosh. All right. Nobody will ever know. It's our secret. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Barb. So I'm going to peel off those dimensionals and flip this around. 
and just layer that on there. So I want to make sure that that um, pretty border is all the way around. Somebody just did a mad face. Did I make somebody mad? Too many dimensionals? Or was that a boo-boo? I'm hoping it was a boo-boo. All right, so here's my favorite thing about these um, dies, and that is that it's got that stitching. There will be dog hair in your house. <clears throat> yeah, we have plenty of that here, too. Um, so it's got that stitching down the middle. So I'm going to just fold on that um, center stitching like so. And you see how that makes the, just adds a lot of um, dimension to the leaf just by, goes from flat to fabulous, right? So I'm going to do the same on this one. You can also take a bone folder and you could curl it a little bit if you want. I am just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to fold it down the middle. And then I'm going to attach these to my card. And to do that, I'm going to go with good old glue dots. <laughs> oh, Terry, hit, I'm glad I didn't make you mad, Terry. She accidentally hit the mad face. I do that all the time. <laughs> Are you sad about my hair in the card? Yeah, that's okay. That's a little bit of me, right? All right, so we're going to just tuck the stem of our leaf right under that knot. Just like that. There we go. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing. Make sure there's no dog hairs or Susan hairs on it. <clears throat> and then we're going to tuck this one right under that knot as well and tuck it right in there. So there we've got our leaves. And you can see how they're still folded in the middle because they're not flat anymore. They've got, you know, they're pretty low profile. I mean, it's going to go through the middle just fine, but that gold shows up a little bit more, I think, when they're folded. So hi, Eileen. Thanks for tuning in. So now the fun part, we're going to add our little sentiment here. It'd be no surprise to anybody that I'm going to be, once again, putting dimensionals behind that, right? Come here, you. I'm trying to get away from me today. And then we're going to pop the grating on there. You've done that before, too. To Jean, I did it just last night. It actually was a, I meant to like something and it ended up being a, a love, which I guess that's, that's probably better, right? But I've totally done it before too. All right. And now the fun part, we got to add our bling, right? So I'm going to grab some of the gilded gems. These are from the annual catalog and those are just going to carry through with my gold card, gold envelope, brushed gold uh, metallic. And so we're going to get our, <laughs> take your pick tool, of course, and I'm going to put on a small one, a medium one, and a large one. So just one of each size. Doesn't matter. You could do whatever you want. And I'm just kind of splattering them. I didn't want them in a row. I just wanted them kind of staggered, I guess is the word I want. And there we have our card. Wow, that was super quick, right? <laughs> You've got this set coming tomorrow. Oh, I just, yeah, I love it, love it, love it. Now, of course, we could do an inside sentiment, um, but I'm going to leave it blank. That way I can, um, you know, write a note in it. I can use it for whatever I want. It actually would be good for a birthday or just um, just really nice thinking of you type of card. So that is once again the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper. I will, I do have a project sheet for this card. So that, that's got all of the dimensionals on it. I don't think I even told you the ribbon is seven and a half inches. So I'll put this um, in the file section here in our group, um, in our Sue Stampfield group here on Facebook. And um, you can then see all of the step-by-step -step directions and the, the products that were used for this one. Um, just to show you another, uh, some of the other colors in that paper, um, are used on this little project. So these are the cute little uh, mini coffee cups that are in the mini catalog. And this is one I made uh, last weekend. I went to uh, Stampin' Up! Leader Summit. I say I went to it. It was a virtual event, but um, it was uh, 
um, two and a half days of pretty intense back-to-back -back training. It was awesome. So I actually went to a hotel um, so that I could take full advantage um, and not be distracted at all. And uh, this was something I made for the six leaders in my group that attended the event with me. So the top here is eat, drink, and be cozy. And then I can see I used that Gilded Autumn paper again. And then inside we've got, I gave them a Starbucks gift card and then some chocolate caramels because, you know, chocolate, whatever, always good thing, right? And it looked a little kind of fallish to me, the, the, the colors on the, the caramels. So, so that is, and I don't know, I think it's pretty clever that these cups, a, a gift card will perfectly fit in these cups. So that's a project for another day though. Let me know if you want me to demonstrate this one. Um, I can tell you how I can share the pattern with you on um, that I made for uh, to cover the cup to do the paper on that. And then this, of course, is a die, so that's super easy, the, the um, sleeve part. So thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to flip the camera here so I can say goodbye. Thanks again for joining me tonight. Take care and have a great evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.